In this video, we're going to be looking at the Third Council of Constantinople. Now, this council, which became the Sixth Ecumenical Council, ecu ecumenical meaning the gathering of all the churches, there was only one church at the time in the early centuries. This was called for by the Emperor Constantine the Fourth in. 678 AD and it closed in 681 AD. Now this council picks up from where the um, Chalcedonian Creed left off. Chalcedonian Creed of 451 AD which was called for by the Emperor Marcion um, and from where we get the Chalcedonian Creed or uh, the definition of uh, Chalcedon. Now all these creeds are looking at the nature of Jesus Christ, um, looking at his being fully divine and fully human. And the Third Ca Council of Constantinople was looking at this as well. It addressed whether the two natures of Christ, his human nature and his divine nature, also had two separate wills. And the council concluded that Jesus has two wills as well as two natures, and that those two wills did not conflict with or strive against each other. The Council of Nicaea in 325 AD from which we get the Nicene Creed previously defined Jesus as being fully divine and fully human and it did not however state how Christ could be both divine and human or how the divine and human were related within his person. So this led to the Christological controversies of the 4th and 5th centuries, which the Council of Chalcedon attempted to address. So in summary, this produced uh, the doctrine that stated that two natures, one human and one divine, are united in the one person of Christ. The Council further stated that each of these natures, the human and the divine, were distinct and complete. Now there is a theological phrase for this and that is um, the hypostatic union which asks, how can a man be God? I'm going to do a separate video on the hypostatic union. So look out for that. So then let's have a look at what the statement of faith from 681 AD actually says. Are you ready for this? We also proclaim two natural willings or wills in him and two natural operations without separation, without change, without partition, without confusion, according to the teaching of the Holy Fathers and two natural wills, not contrary to each other, God forbid, as the impious heretics have said they would be but his human will following and not resisting or opposing, but rather subject to his divine and all-powerful will. For it was proper for the will of the flesh to be moved naturally, yet to be subject to the divine will, according to the all-wise Athanasius. For as his flesh is called and is the flesh of God the Word, so also the natural will of his flesh is called and is God the Word's own will. 
as he himself says, I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the Father who sends me. Calling the will of the flesh his own, as also the flesh had become his own, for in the same manner that his all holy and spotless ensouled flesh, though divinized, was not destroyed, but remained in its own law and principle, also his human will. Divinized was not destroyed, but rather preserved. As Gregory the Divine says, his will, as conceived of in his character as the Saviour, is not contrary to God, being wholly divinized. We also glorify two natural operations in the same our Lord Jesus Christ, our true God, without separation, without change, without partition, without confusion, that is, a divine operation and a human operation. As the divine preacher, Leo, most clearly says, for each form does what is proper to it, in communion with the other. The word, that is, performing what belongs to the word, and the flesh, carrying out what belongs to the flesh. We will not therefore grant the existence of one natural operation of God and the creature, lest we should either raise up into the divine nature what is created, or bring down the preeminence of the divine nature into the place suitable for things that are made. For we recognise the wonders and the sufferings as of one and the same person. According to the difference of the natures of which he is and in which he has his being, as the eloquent Cyril said. Preserving, therefore, in every way the unconfused and undivided, we set forth the whole confession in brief. Believing our Lord Jesus Christ, our true God, to be, all, to be one of the Holy Trinity, even after the taking of flesh, we declare that his two natures shine forth in his one hypostasis, in which he displayed both the wonders and the sufferings through the whole course of his dispensation, not in phantasm, that means spiritually, but truly, physically, the difference of nature being recognised in the same one by hypostasis, by the fact that each nature wills and works what is proper to it in communion with the other. On this principle, we glorify two natural wills and operations, combining with each other for the salvation of the human race. Well, that is a very, very deep, very, very deep creed. And it's, it's all true, though. I mean, the hypostatic union, how can a man be God, is, is a very um, important thing that Christ was fully man and fully God. Otherwise, he would not have been able to be our saviour. Now, this word hypostasis comes from uh, the Greek word hypostasis, which basically uh, signifies an essence or substance and denotes the necessity of existence. So the closest Latin equivalent is persona, person, personhood. So philosophically, hypostasis places a primary emphasis on essence as distinct from a being's attributes. So theologically, it is often used as a term to describe any one of the three real and distinct personal persons of the one undivided divine essence, known as the Trinity or Triune God. For example, in 
Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 where we read the sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being that is hypostasis sustaining all things by his powerful words after he had provided purification for sins he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven wow so hypostasis put simply is the union and relationship between the two natures of jesus now i'm going to do a more in-depth video on the hypostatic union another time but this is quite an incredible um, creed uh, to 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 look at so thank you for joining me and uh, i'll see you next time bye bye